Thank you. Thank you for the world bank for inviting me uh, to this kind of a very uh, exciting uh, opportunity to allow us actually share what we have learned uh, in the field uh, from our at least like 20 plus years uh, working on the ground, uh, making a kind of a legacy for marine conservation uh, to really a foundation to build the blue economy. So in this uh, presentation, uh, uh, because this is the invitation is to really focus on community-based marine conservation and uh, lesson learned. So I will fo only focus on specific subjects and, and components uh, for this uh, topic actually. So within the, the given time, uh, uh, allow me to share what we have learned. I will share with you uh, at least two sites here. The lesson learned coming from Raja Alba. And the second one is coming from the specific focus species based marine tourism in Zimbabwe. In uh, next slide. So, my presentation is going to be focused on key topics about when it comes to community based conservation. I'd like to quote first, for example, start with the what's in the important. When you come to the communities and working on marine conservation, looking at the nature conservation, that's going to be the first question the community will ask. So this is a kind of, not a, it's a very simple question, but it's very difficult to answer. Because this is a big challenge you will face with the huge of, uh, kind of audience and stakeholders on the ground. The second one is uh, from our learning curve issue. The sign is key because we can really if to really understand completely the, the, for example, what would be the key role of the, uh, the, the resources, the marine resources, with the community like livelihoods, economic, and also not just for the broader, for example, government. The third one is going to be the size matter. We have seen on the ground for the long of my career, actually, uh, we tend to do kind of a marine conservation in the small spot size, small size, and we tend we get a success. But if you only put the parameter about the, uh, the sustainability as a success, I think we will be challenged with this kind of a big question. The third one is going to be talk about the community as Very often, as a many conservation project, uh, we deal with this kind of approach. Uh, are we going to put this kind of the community as a leader or as a kind of only the object? So this is a kind of big kind of, a, uh, kind of requirement in order to address sustainability and leadership on the ground to start with the, the, this, this approach. The next one is going to be the government leadership, which is a kind of, a, we don't need only small level of policies, very specific, but also bold vision. Because marine conservation is a kind of a, you need a kind of a, the, the entire uh, a kind of bios to address. Because as you all know, that, uh, uh, I'm glad to be here actually to say with you. So when, when we talk about the marine conservation, it's not just talking about one product unit. It's not about one species. We are talking about the whole set of integration, a kind of among the ecosystem from mangroves from the land, from the, the, the marine, from the offshore, and also in so This is kind of the, the ecosystem connectivity should be really addressed. The last one is going to be uh, the challenges. So I will share a little bit with you about the what we have been challenged with this kind of our approach on the ground and how we can really uh, uh, scale up. The next slide is, uh, this is kind of the, the, the principle I have a key purpose to share this kind of approach with you. Many of us go to study, go to the uh, PhD, go to the master degree, the SR2. You talk about marine conservation. But when it comes to the practice on the ground, we need to really understand about the there are two aspects of doing this conservation. You're going to get the best sustainability. Like a coin, sporting block and coin. While it's SATU in the one side, we need to really protect a sport of protection. And the other side, we talk about the economy production side. 
So when you talk about the protection, for example, what Augusto has mentioned, the whole vision for the country, building up the 3% of the ecosystem for the countries. We cannot talk about the protection. We cannot focus on biodiversity conservation, in fisheries, bioecological processes, and in climate resilience, uh, civic cultural values, and also social values. This is all the, the environmental values we are talking, we need to bring from that. To allow this system to really flourish, to always produce good, to always produce good environmental sacrifices, even though we will have that kind of a production side, securing foods, securing jobs, and also ecosystem and tourism, and also even safety. Yeah. I can actually, if, if, if time is available, I can really be telling every single of this subject. But time is not really uh, available. But when, when it comes to size, it means our, our real life on the ground experience. We have seen on the ground, like I mentioned before, we focus on, the, on one, one side, uh, for example, like uh, five, five hectares, 10 hectares of MPA system. But we premise actually to sustainable business. It doesn't really connect with what we promise than the reality we have in the nature. On the ground, because every single one species for let's say grouper, they require at least, for example, a 10, uh, can I for, you know, even 40 kilometers uh, in order to really uh, secure the, all the ecological process from the spawning aggregation until they have the growing out uh, of size level, until they 